in the white chamber with black curtains near the station. 20-06 indie game. Now that was an interesting time for indie games because there weren't a lot of them. Still even a few years off from having uh, Minecraft come out. Now when I think about that time, think about like uh, Cave Story, Mario Hacks, Flash games, and this definitely fits in that Flash game category. going on why was i in that coffin okay we got point and click adventure type game so you know click to walk around and then got like inventory up here right click to look and interact i guess and that's as far as i've gotten with this game i don't really know much of anything else aside from one very important thing thank you 2008 tv tropes <laughs> And I woke up and why was I in there? Big thing back in 2006. It's too heavy to move. The surface is warm. There's a slight vibration. Was uh, Escape the Room games. And this, I feel like, was probably very much inspired by a lot of those. Okay. Well, There's what's a going on? on the panel. Connection error. Okay. I can't get it to work. Of course not. Well, where am I going then? This is, I mean, usually just like walking to the edge of the screen or something will give you a like go to next area, but this seems to be uh, fairly, fairly good in terms of giving you an indication when you're able to actually do something. Now, of course, if you've ever played any sort of point and click adventure game, sometimes it just kind of comes down to wait. There you go. Sometimes it just kind of comes down to... The wires look like they're not connected properly. Finding the right pixel of cheese to click on in the Blade Runner game. Stuff like that. There. That seems like a... the wires together. I guess, okay, I guess we're not going a uh, full-on old Sierra type of adventure games where handling an exposed wire would probably be a bad ass. Let's just get out of it. I... The white chamber? Doesn't really look like white. I guess I got like like streaks of white in the marble here. No. What the hell is going on? I'm in space. That's right! It's not just in it's not just near the station, it's near the space station. I I don't know, this could also just be a uh uh This is definitely spaceship. space, but I can't see any signs of other ships or anything. Do you know how big space is? I guess I guess it could near be near like a space port or something like that, but it, it, that that's still whatever. The windows are totally solid. Besides, if I broke them, I'd be sucked out into space. Yeah, it'd probably be a pretty uninteresting ending for this game, right? Okay, well that's cool. Um, anything else? <laughs> Do you regret regrets? I've got a few. Uh, no. Um. I go just it doesn't anything. I think I think you know. I think we're looking at. I'm just gonna say this right now. I think we're looking at a, an amnesia storyline and not the Dark Descent. So no. Well, you just you keep looking at the screen. <laughs> yeah. What if I said no? I, yeah. It looks like there's a way out. 
Oh, that was easy. Uh, anything else? It's begun! The, uh, I... Stabilization of the text, apparently. How do I... Oh, okay. <laughs> Just wait long enough, I suppose. Alright, well, there you go. What am... Okay, so I got several different options here. That's still the... The console... Can I interact with these wires? Wall panel. That seems like a good place to start interacting with wires. I've already been trained that that is going to be the thing that I'm going to be doing in this game. It seems to be some kind of navigation console. It must control the station somehow. Cool. Okay, so it is a space station, I guess. It doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I'll need to find some way to power it up. I know it. It's all about it's all about the wires. We're just going to be doing wires all day every day here. I'm sure this controls some sort of cradle system that elevates part of the station. Why do I know that? My theory about this being about amnesia... Hey, oh, there's stains. I'd probably go look at that. Um, anything else? My theory about this being amnesia is seemingly coming true more and more and more by minute. It doesn't seem to have any power. So what's going on? Yeah, that's a stain? It's hard to tell. What are those stains on the floor? On the wall, too. They look like blood. I hope it's not Chris's blood. Whatever they are, they feel encrusted into the surface. Ugh. What happened here? I, d d given that we're in space, and I think this is a horror game. I think this is a horror game. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming some sort of alien. It's like it usually, usually that tends to be what happens, right? Uh, interact with any of these wires? Looking around, got left computer, right computer, backup unit, and door. Well, what do we got for the backup power unit? Seems like a very relevant thing given the sort of issues that I'm currently. All right, I need to look. It looks like a unit designed to provide backup power to certain systems. Neato. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Got. It looks like a slot for some kind of key. Okay. I can't get it working. Okay, okay, use keys to open doors. Can't interact with these. Is somebody just opening up doors in the background? I'm hearing Star Trek doors happening. Uh, it, anyway. It's blank, unlike the slots in the other modules. Probably for the best? It's already online. That's one relief. Alright, cool. Docking cradle ain't gonna be doing much of anything soon. Unless, no, still can't click on any of these. Well, okay, there you go. Got, got the first, first thing to do here. Find keys to open doors. It's marked as being a droid control console. I've not seen any droids. Maybe it's robots. Maybe robots killed Damn, everybody. no power. Yeah, I should expect that at this point. It's a communications console. And? Not working. Okay, we need. Why did you? What did I even expect? Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Okay, just you know, you, you gotta look around. Like any any time, there could possibly be just a single thing to pick up on the ground or whatever. Maybe I want some of that blood. <laughs> Probably not. Look at this blood. Oh, blood. Eh. Door scanner, a lab coat, Ex <laughs> goofy-looking explosive barrel. Well, I know. Dude, well, you know, if anybody, any enemies or whatever come in here, you can just shoot that to be able to get rid of them pretty quick. Soiled lab coat. It looks like there's something in the pocket. Oh, well, gotta there's get that. Bank ID card and some kind of override key in the pocket. Uh, did I, did I get it? I, I did. Okay. This is an override key. Thank you. I'd need to find a system this fits. Well, I got a good idea. It's an ID card for use in security scanners. Okay. I can't really do much with it without a DNA sequencer. A what now? Well, I guess it's a good thing that there's a lot of DNA around here in the form of the blood, but uh, still. Um, I it's... can't use these. Oh, you can combine things in this game. Okay. It's an ID card scanner for the gate. Okay. I'll need to use an... It, 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 okay, yeah, obviously, but I want to see... It didn't work. Looks like this card isn't encoded with an authorized DNA sample. 
Sort of hoping that it had like a DNA sample there. The only thing that's going to open this gate is that scanner. Unless, uh, well, here. This gate's stopping me. What if? It seems pretty sturdy. Okay. All right, fine, fine. D DNA sequencer. I have not seen anything even resembling a DNA sequencer. Well, yeah, anything else? Anything else? Nope. Looks like I am going immediately right back to just turning on stuff here in the back. Uh, uh, nothing else, nothing else. Wouldn't have to be like a DNA sequencer on the ground or anything like that. No, no, no. Let me guess. Yep. That's the key I put in. Sure is. Okay, so I can actually take that out if I want to. All right, so that's good to know, I suppose. Got one key. Can activate multiple things. Well, I let's do the comms right now because I already saw that that turned on clearly. Hmm. Interesting. It's marked as being a. Okay, nothing new, and you uh, got it turned on. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. It was just well, okay then. Is it just. This is the worst keyboard, by the way. Probably one of those ergonomically designed ones. Never like that. My good old Amazon Basics one here, right? <laughs> it's a communications com Looks like someone was trying to send out an SOS message, but it wasn't transmitted. Mm-hmm. Was it due to robots? Or aliens? Or something else? According to this, there's a note somewhere to unlock the droid software. Okay, well, I'm just find that. A, f figure out that later, then. This just looks like promotional spam for some concert. The only chance becomes something greater than yourself. Okay. Hit the keyboard, by the way. Uh. And it also just does say spam right on the left there, too. The message is asking for information about a missing ship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, well, there's that. All right. Well, that seems to be pretty much everything I can do with this. So I suppose... It looks like a unit. Uh, I forget what the controls are. Take this out and put it into a uh, station room? Probably, that seems like that's, if I was going to say that other room is anything, that would probably be it. Maybe? Yeah, this looks like it's on right now. Good. 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 Wait. I, I can't use these things together. <laughs> uh, is this a se I sequencer? I can't use these things together. This is not a DNA sequencer. Is it anything? I got leave. What is this? It seems to be some kind of navigation console. It must control the station somehow. I... Okay, well, time for... The wall panel time. It doesn't seem to have any power. Which one is this, then? Is the real question. Okay, so I got this. I got power to it. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll go throw it into the only other one that exists. I'll go throw the key into the only other one that exists and see what that does. Maybe that's the wall panel. It's the only thing I can think of right now. I have a very limited amount of things that I can do, and I'm explicitly told that I need a DNA sequencer to do much of anything else, right? Oh, by the way, bottom of the screen, nothing, 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 no. It doesn't. No, still no. All right. Well, there was a doctor's lab coat thing over there, so maybe this is considered to be medical, is at least, like, my thought process. These, these were, like, red before, right? Well? It didn't work. No. 
Ah, uh, DNA sequencer. Um... The lab coat's empty now, and I don't need it. Okay, well, they just explicitly tell There's you. There's nothing else in the coat, and it smells like it's smeared with feces or something, so I think I'll leave it. Oh, and you said that it was, um... When you said that it was soiled, I did I th assumed with blood. <laughs> I suppose I didn't... Hey, can you take a look at this? Canister of high explosive. I didn't think, um... I can't reach it through the cage. Yeah, okay. Magazine. I can't really see from here. Can you grab it or something? I can't reach... Yeah, of course not. Uh, is anything else? I could do like the full loop around trying to figure out anything. Nope. Okay, well, there's the communications. Or not the communications, the uh, other console. And it did say that there was some sort of variety of note somewhere around here to use, so I don't know. I, I, yeah, like, what else would I possibly be doing with that? Uh, okay, I, here's here's one thing that I'm thinking of right now. I'm going to take this. I'm going to throw it back into the comms. Maybe there's something else here that turned on, like, a little bit more in the corner. Usually when you're trying to solve puzzles with that sort of thing, you should look around everywhere, right? No, 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 no. DNA sequencer. Is there anything else to do with this? I don't see, like, other messages or anything coming up here. Can do that. I'm just trying to think, like, what's the... Okay, I guess take that. We'll put it into the station rotation. And see what happens now. This seems like the best potential for something happening. Maybe also... Go in here. You got anything else to say aside from, you know, things are beginning? Yeah, 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 yeah. Things always beginning around here now, don't they? Uh, the portentous console. Yeah. Is it just wait long enough or what? Okay, that, what a weird thing. It, it makes you wait for so long. Uh, anyway. Okay, controls the navigation. Oh, there oh there it is. There we go. Should have seen that coming, right? Okay, can turn rotate left and right. Okay, well. Right? Turn it off, that doesn't feel like that's gonna do much of anything. But then again, I don't know. The windows do not have appear to have changed. Uh I can point it this way. Does, I don't like what I'm looking for right now is a move now like move station sort of thing. Oh oh wait, there we go. Okay, there's the solar solar power. Right? All right, it has to be at that angle exactly. All right, there we go. Perfect. I wasn't really giving like any indication. I was thinking there was supposed to be some sort of other button that I needed to. Okay. Raise? No. Lower? No. Uh, it looks like this section of the station can be lowered down. Okay, so I want to lower it then, I guess. Safety lock, no interaction there. Warning safety lock offline. Okay. All right, neato. Now let's go back to my cool chamber area. Maybe there's something new in there. We got other chambers in here. It looks like it's a... Uh, seemingly even worse down here and all that sort of stuff so that's cool all right that opens up a pretty big area then i think i'm not really sure <laughs> all right well aside from lighting up this area a little bit more uh doesn't seem like much of anything else is new all right so i guess it's just this this kitchen area that appears to have been opened 
door. Sealed sounds like something I don't want to mess around with. But ah, what are you gonna do, right? So, can I take the fire extinguisher? It's probably pretty heavy. Fire extinguisher. It's probably really heavy. I, okay, cool. A bulky fire extinguisher. You said it was large before. <laughs> All right. Can I? Oh, no, that did let me in there. Now, let's look at the cupboards first. I mean, I, I should probably be trying to figure out what's in every single room before it's anything just happens. just a cupboard. That's it? Oh, shit. That, that's someone's arm. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, sure is. Sure is. I'm going to take that. Now give him a high five. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> a human arm. Nice. <laughs> it's a standard pre recorded video disc. Microcosm disc, eh? That's quality for you. Good. At least in at least the 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 <laughs> arm was holding on to a quality disc. Anything else to be said about the blood here? Well, I, you know, I suppose that probably would have been something to solve if I need to, like, actually activate this, but apparently it just works anyway, and now I'm just carrying around an arm. Well, it's good to know somebody's giving me a hand. Been automatically sealed. I think I can see a fire through the door. <laughs> okay, well, I think I've solved that puzzle when I can get in there. We'll just leave that for the time being. <laughs> Wait, I think I might have been able to interact with that. Sculpt? Tell me the scope of this. I recognize this. It's a 7777 Zentradi series proto analyzer. I don't have any protos to analyze. I'd need some kind of sample dish to use with it. Tools, projector. Oh, there's a speaker there. That seems meaningful. Elevator. Uh, well. <laughs> Someone has jammed an axe in the lift control panel. Now you're going to unjam it, right? Nice. It's a sharp axe. This should be useful. How? <laughs> Vent. Uh, we'll d d do that in a moment. A selection of bloody and rusted lab instruments. Can I thank any of them? rusted to the surface. Ugh. I doubt they'd be of much use in that state anyway. I don't... I, can things like rust to surfaces? I don't know if I've ever seen that before this looks like antique equipment it's for playing videotapes oh nice this doesn't play video discs it's designed for old videotapes oh dude like literally tape tape what about the speaker it's a speaker I remember having speakers like this when I was a kid I... there's not much I can do with it yeah, I suppose not. What about the elevator? I wonder where this leads. Up, down, combination of both. Well, I didn't play. Anyway. It's welded shut so I can't get through. I, I don't know if I want to go to the vent, though. Well, anyway, seems to be pretty fruitful, given that I got a weapon now for whatever that's going to be. If I need to make uh, more arms, I suppose. Eh, if I can even find anyone around here. There's kind of been nobody. Uh, maybe they've been torn apart so ridiculously. Blanket. That the arm is the only thing that remains. Okay, what do you got? So that's me. Not bad, considering. And did it? Yep. A shiny mirror. All right, nice. And the blanket, since a it, as always, blanket. we're just grabbing every and anything that I possibly can at this point in time. A comfortable blanket. Okay, I. Oh, I assume that this is probably not real. <laughs> so, we in the hollow deck? Cause Star Trek, as always. There are real trees, all right, but how is that possible? I can't make a path through. The trees are too dense. I, really, though? Bet 
This really looks like the sea. What's going on? I'm guessing hollow deck. This feels like real water. I don't understand how any of this is possible. I was on a space station. Maybe I could swim away from here, but it doesn't look like there's anything around to swim to. Right, well, back to the... <laughs> And back to the the space station? I'd whatever. Okay, what else do I even end up doing right now then? Wait, how do I get out of here? Uh I walked in a door and wait a second, I did Are we doing wacky stuff? We getting wacky things happening here. <laughs> Oh, okay. Space? What the hell? Where did the beach go? That's a good question. Uh, okay, the door's back. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so there are wacky things happening here, evidently. That was not the holodeck, was it? Was that supposed to be the holodeck? Also, I don't think you can just have the, I don't think you can just be exposed to a vacuum even for a couple seconds and then just like be okay. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I pulled myself back in. Now nah, this is normal. Hey, what's going on with you, creature? Yeah, all right. What the hell just happened? Was that even real? What is this place doing to me? I don't know. It looks like you just went to Silent Hill for a couple seconds or something like that. It's very hard to say. You would think that's the creature? Is that the creature that killed everybody? I mean, everything's still covered in blood and whatnot. So, you know, it's not like it's a... It's not like I, I made... It's... It's not like I was able to make it nicer around here by going back to previous it times. You know what I'm trying to say. Console. It must control the station somehow. It's not any nicer around here. My God, that took that those words. <laughs> I can see much much better down here. Does that mean there we go? Just need this to have it lit up. Used as some kind of analyzer. So. You and Trace detecting the system. Is that is that something that I want? I don't I don't know. What about you, panel? Panels have always been. This is the control for the emergency tank cleansing system. Ah, uh, okay, and those are the issues. The tank is empty now. There'd be no point cleaning it. All right. Also, ah, uh, here's the DNA sequencer. Good. It's a DNA encoder used to store data on ID cards. That's what I need, baby. Throw it in. Throw it in? Looks like this won't work unless I insert a DNA sample first. And where am I going to get a DNA sample? I can't use these. <laughs> Jam it in there. I can't use these things together. What, really? I, I can't. Really? I, I, hmm. Okay. That felt very obvious. I can't No, none of them. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go get some sort of DNA sample then instead. I don't know. It's just I, uh, being able to. I have an arm. Is that not enough DNA? <laughs> That's a lot of DNA. You, I, there's a lot of DNA in an entire human arm. I'm just saying. There's nothing else in the. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I guess that wasn't it then. I'm not picking up the lab coat either. Uh, ah! Oh, did I never look at this cupboard? It's just a cupboard. I might not have. Yeah, a uh, strange box? A strong metal box. It looks sealed. No, oh, yeah, thank it. Can of drink. If I understand correctly, it's a fizzy drink. Okay, well, take that too. Garbage. Use junk food wrappers. They're covered in dirt. Well, I want to take I don't that. I need to carry garbage. 
I, you, you say you're carrying around a human arm. Oh, it's Dr. Salt. It's a reddish can of fizzy drink. This food stinks. It's all gone moldy. I'm Take not that. catching that. Who knows what I might catch? Oh, but we'll get the the ah oh, the human arm, eh? It's a sealed lunchbox. Are those grapes inside? No thanks. I doubt. All right, all right, all right. Well, that is something then. Seal box. A steel box that seems to be welded shut. Am I still gonna get like some? What? What am I gonna? Eh. I can't use. No. Well. I can't use that was pretty much my best guess that I would be able to. I can't open it. I wonder what's inside. Nothing good, I assume, but uh, you know. Can of drink, fire extinguisher. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go look around a little bit more. Oh, wait a second. There's a video disc here. That might be something I did. Really, it's impossible. A pre-recorded video disc. This one I can actually use this time. And a handwritten note. Weird. Most people use computers nowadays. What? Well, what do we got? Oh, we got extra inventory space. That's what. It's a note I found. It says, "Patience while you grill bacon rind." That's rather strange. I wonder what it means. No, it's almost definitely the uh, code for a thing. It could make a nice air. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. Gordon disappear again, right? Don't need to go back out into space. Don't need to tempt myself with with uh, space one more time. All right, well, it's, uh, got a code then. Now there is, of course, the one area that I think I'm supposed to be, you know, like using this on, but like. Uh, purple, white, yellow, green, blue, red. Hang on. Oh, nice. It's a guy on fire. Okay, quarantine biohazard, as you probably expect. Toilet show facilities? Toilet shower facilities. That's probably... I don't know. I don't feel like going on a show. Oh, there is a guy on fire in here, too. So, you know, there's that. Yeah. Camera five. Do I control this with... Oh, I do. I d this is actually keyboard controls. I've been doing everything with the mouse up until this point. Space for action. Somehow. Oh, okay. Extinguish fire. All right, all right. Dude's still on fire, all that sort of stuff. And what are you authorized to do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye, I guess. <laughs> uh, hmm. But wait, can I do that again? <laughs> can we go see what the what the robot's seeing as it's floating around in space? Uh. Neat. <laughs> does not appear to um, <laughs> does not appear to help me in any way, but I do enjoy that as a as a a thing that I can do. Goodbye, droid. I enjoy your time exploring the universe. All right, now is that door still open? So. It's a bed with body-shaped burn marks across it. So. I don't think I could sleep even if I wanted to. Oh yeah, well, it did, did kind of have that happen apparently anyway. And went to Wacky Town, you know. It's a filing cabinet. It's a medical laser. I should probably also look Not at working. the. Not okay. Could be the power source. Well, that one I can fix, but also I forgot to actually look at this here too. Broken drawer. The seal on this drawer is broken. Like, no. Huh? A brown envelope. Not that broken, inside. thankfully. It's not like Silent Hill broken, you know. So. There's something in the package. 
There was a video cassette inside. All right, I do actually have some way to uh, use that thing apparently. They're surprisingly sturdy. I doubt I could force them open. Most of these drawers are locked. Oh, okay, there, there was doesn't a lock. Seem to be I an see. Obvious way to unlock them. Most of these drawers are locked. Okay, and it's all just Most the same. All just the same. All right, video cassette means that I can actually use that one because unlike the other cassettes that I found, I think maybe that one other disc thing will actually work. Oh, there's that. Obviously, the lock just leads outside, as we've seen, but you know. Voice control panel that operates the quarantine chamber. It'll only respond to the voice of an authorized doctor. I'll never get this working. Hey, we're looking at amnesia. You don't know. Maybe you were. It's a standard shower unit. I can't get inside the chamber. All right. Well, however I'm supposed to do that doesn't seem to be apparent right now. Just saying. It's just like we did when you. Now oh, we're back in Wacky Town. Well, I'm just you know. Well, it's still it's still wacky. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe going through the loading the loading area might have fixed that. Uh, did, did did not appear to. Hey, what's going on, eyeball? Shit. Am I gonna die in here? Eh, yeah, probably. That is what happened last time. A decapitated body. It's crucified upside down. Am I in hell? Uh, that's a potential. There's potential for that. I'm glad there's a fence keeping it away from me. Ah, well. Somehow I imagine that I'm probably not going to be finding much of anything. Oh, oh no. Oh no, it's repeating. Well, I mean, it is giving me the green light, right? Yeah? Is that like... I mean, it's giving me a... It's like... Do I want to not move? Okay. Ah, well, I think I'm just going to have to go. Ah, maybe something funny will happen anyway. Oh, okay, no. Music's picking up, though. Anything else to look at around here? Oh, the chasm. I could have seen that. Ah, oh, no. Somebody found the marker. Ah, jeez. Not again. Guys, you should know not to mess around with that anymore. I swear. Oh, of course. someone trapped in there. I can only break the chamber open. Uh, if you say so. Damn, the chamber must be reinforced. I don't think I have anything more powerful than that, right? I can't use these. Well, is this the one that I want to go flush out? Oh, shit. I'm trying to help him. I'm so sorry. Ah, well. I don't know. This is the control for the. I wait, was. Is there like a thing? Oh yeah, okay. Now here is the one that I want to chop apart, right? So um. I mean, that's cool and everything. Uh, oh, oh, hey, cool. We got another arm. Another arm. I don't know. We're moving up in the world. We're getting all these limbs, apparently. What am I supposed to do with these? And... Okay. I guess that's everything. What am I supposed to do? What, you, what am I supposed to do with the, uh, these arms? A detached arm. Great. Okay. Okay. Well. What? Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. One of the things I did get was I did get a disc. 
And it does seem to be the sort of disc that I can actually... Hey, is that different? I think that might be different compared to the last time that I was looking at this thing here. Uh, well, got a VCR tape. I can't use the... Got a VC... There we go. <laughs> One of these things is going to interact correctly. What the... That's me. Um... Yeah, yeah! Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> ah, here we go. What? Why not? Well, I guess I could just shoot the system, right? Uh, yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, no, it's not quite what I was expecting, but you know, sure. This game came out three years before uh, Dead Space, I think. But then again, I mean, I suppose like the you know, writing on the wall and everything is still pretty, uh, pretty common sort of this trope and all that sort of stuff. System. I mean, that was cool and everything. Uh, what? <laughs> you don't think that really did much of anything for me, right? What about the plasma cutter thing? Oh, there's batteries. Don't think I ever looked at these. They're the batteries from the video. That was horrible. Can I? I can. Okay, so the question, I, not quite what I expected that to accomplish. I'll say that. All right, so I got batteries for something. What a weird there's thing. There's a horrible smell coming from that fridge. I feel sick. What? Bro, what? A fridge hanging from the ceiling? It absolutely stinks. I wish I could get rid of it. I mean... I'll never get it to... Yeah, I didn't expect that, but... That might bring the fridge down, but it'd smell worse on the floor. I'd rather find a way to dispose of it before cutting it down. What? This is a... Strange thing. I, hmm. um, d dispose of it in what way? I put like this underneath it. No, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, right? Uh, dispose of it before cutting it down. Do you want? I can't use these. <laughs> no. I, uh. Okay, well, there's still a couple other things that I can do as far as uh, things go. There's like the laser desk, for example, which I. I can't use. Didn't think so because I do have a way to actually use that. Laser cutter might get me into the quarantine the thing? Getting worse and worse. Interesting. Uh. Could I. Okay. My throat feels like it's burning. I Am I about to die doing this? Longer. Okay, um I got a blanket. I can't use No. I was just thinking that it's like maybe you could wrap it up to prevent it from be from bursting. I don't know. I do get a very King's Quest 2 sense from that, that it's like if I if I continue going in that room then I'm going to die. There's a bridge in King's Quest 2 leading to... You have to open up like three doors, and if you went over a bridge too many times, it would break. That led to the door and make the game unwinnable. Now that I've powered up the station... Okay, so apparently... Uh, hmm. So the back... Uh, so, the ba so that then doesn't require anything else. What is... Hmm... A DNA sequencer. Maybe I can use the other arm that I got. You know, I got multiple arms after all. Four of them, in fact. I can't use. No. And the ID card, I'm sure, is probably just saying. Actually, do I even have the ID card anymore? Oh, here it is. Wait, do I still have the ID card? Yes. Oh, uh, 
what to do, what to do. Guess I'll wander around a little bit more for a bit. See if I can't find something. Oh, well. <laughs> Guess we're not going anywhere else here. I mean, I was just thinking that it's like maybe raising the cradle there. We're going back to the other room might have done something. Uh, not so much. What about going in the door here? Am I going to die now? And there we go. Wow. That is one powerful stench. Oh, that's the... That's an ending. <laughs> Evidently. Okay, and that is back up to the same place that I was at last time. Which means... I'm going to make a save. Just save it too, then. I think that'll be good enough. All right. Got the venomous ending, sure. A horrible... So apparently, I'm gotta do something. Like blanket I can't felt use... I... obvious. I can't. Uh, but I don't know. Break it down. Can go through. You know, I haven't, I didn't check over here previously, did I? See if there was much of anything else going on in this room. Oh, wait. I really don't think that's a good idea. What, this? Or. Okay, I'll give it a try. Okay, and I kind of had a feeling. But. <laughs> Okay, then. Well, hey, it was going all endings, I guess, at this rate. <laughs> all right. I'll crank this back up. Load the game. Well, actually, before I do that, before I do that there's one thing I kind of want to... All right. Uh, there's one thing that I sort of want to check. Uh, yes. Yep. Which, I mean, now that I kind of know what I'm uh, doing overall, can sort of uh, speed run through this uh, entire bit, blank. right? Mm, da -da -da -da, right over here. Because I'm betting it probably won't let me do this, given that you need to, like... Uh, go down below and all that sort of stuff, but I'm going to check it anyway, because it'll be funny. Okay. <laughs> all right. I guess that's what it looks like around there. I can still like move around the guy anyway. No? Well, I gave it a try. It's not finished yet. Wait, what? It's not finished yet? What does that mean? Huh? Wait a second. Oh. Well, I mean, it's like I have arms, and there's a human figure on this. It's not fin Not quite what I expected to have happen, but okay. Extinguisher? Hey, what the fire extinguisher? Uh, probably not. What that's what's probably what's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna like assemble a body. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know. And then um, it's gonna start on fire again. If I was gonna take any sort of a guess, but then again, I don't know. Hmm. Well, still got to figure out something here, right? Oh, here's something. Blackboard apparently has something on it. I don't know if that's going to actually save me there from dying to chalk marks on the, board. the venomous ending, but I don't something. want to wipe away the chalk markings. I think they mean something. Uh, they do. I see one marking. That means nothing to me, though. Oh, there's a sample dish right here. Okay, sure. 
did I miss that earlier? Maybe it wasn't there earlier. Some kind of tissue sample in an airtight dish. The label says Commander Trent. I hear these things are hard to find. Good, because, you know. I recognize this. The tissue has been extracted specially to store a clean sample of DNA. Okay, so that should be the... Now, am I going to just immediately die? But that should be the My thing that I need to open up that one area, I guess. I don't know about the... Uh, the fridge here that is currently threatening to kill me if I continue to walk through that area, but hey, at least this is useful just by itself. Uh, maybe that wasn't actually there before, you know? Done. Now I just need to put in the card to be programmed. Great. Because I should have that. All right, uh, here. That should have written sample data onto the card. Okay, so I guess that's just ID card, but now working. <laughs> so. One of the other things that I got right now is that I do ha now have a uh, explosive barrel, I suppose, that I can now use, as well as magazines. What exactly are these is gonna do for me, though? Is the real question? Because this is right now, it's like, eh. okay, I, get I I did. All right, nice. There it is. It's marked as being a high explosive. That could probably get rid of a thing. I mean, also, let's take a look at this before I start using all my... It's a retro video gaming magazine. Oh, nice. Wow, Penny Arcade reference. I thought about that in a while. Wow, 2006. 2006 uh, references. Hmm. Anyway, uh, d d okay, that's enough of that then. Uh, let's do the thing here where I do the thing. Because obviously, gonna want to put this got in a game the. That's a Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay. I don't really have time to play games. I do. I'm doing it right now. I doubt I could get it down from there without breaking it. A screen attached to that old console. I can't make out the image. Hmm. Anything else I can interact with aside from... All right, it's like, so let me see. An MES. It's a really old video gaming console. I get it. I don't want to. Those old games are really stupid. They just go on and on until you die or throw the pad at the wall. I guess I can have a quick look. What harm can it do? What the hell is going on? Don't tell me this is inside the game. Is this really what I was supposed to do? The MES console I'm playing. Yep. I can't make out the buttons to switch it off. <laughs> well, this is a dumb ending that I've apparently found for myself here. I can't see the handle. It's too pixelated. It's the freezer door. Well, that would have been useful if I could possibly got. Hey, can I grab the explosive now? <laughs> Cannot carry any more items. Yeah, I want to say that I've probably found myself another. What a dumb thing. Anyway, uh. Okay, fine. We'll just hit it with the thing then. You know what always I works? Can't use these things together. Okay, well, good. Uh, I can't believe that worked. I guess that makes sense though, <laughs> if you think about it. I'm back. I don't even want to know what happened there. I even picked up that thing. I don't even know how that happened. Uh, I doubt I could. Well, so what now? Not again. <laughs> I guess that's good and everything. In the doors... Sort of hoping that was going to accomplish something. Uh, great. Then the question becomes, now what? Okay, maybe. There. Now, if I could find some way to ignite this. 
That's good, but yeah, how do I ignite this? I, of all of the things that I have, I don't really think that anything here is uh, something I can use from a distance <laughs> is the problem. I just like throw a can of Dr. Salt. Enough. Um, something. I, it's got to be something, right? That's not going to do it. Oh, there's a scalpel here too. How many things did I miss on this table? A medical. <laughs> Uh, a, a lot, of, evidently. Okay, well, what am I doing with that then? Uh, scalpel. I'm just trying to figure out like some way to actually open up this, but I think if I... Uh... Excedi, you know, trying to like... What can I use a scalpel on? <laughs> There's a power compartment here that I did not even see. Okay, well, there you go. I'm trying There's to figure out why I couldn't quite. The laser unit. <laughs> trying to figure out why I couldn't quite uh, do anything with this. So, all right, now we can use the batteries that, that I got. That worked. The laser should be powered now. To do what though? I don't want to risk firing it at that fridge. I don't know what might happen, but I doubt it would be good. I do well. What else are you gonna do, right? We got, okay, so the fact that she immediately talked about, like, hey, fire it at the fridge sounds good. But, you know, the other thing is that I do have this mirror here. Uh, which feels like an I can't obvious sort of thing that I could do. It's a I don't want to risk firing it. Ah. Uh, but that does at least tell me... It's like I'm supposed to be using that in that way somehow to fire the medical laser at the fridge. I guess I might as well throw down my arms again since I'm right here, right? Oh, this is prior to actually. Hmm. The stench is getting worse. Yeah, uh, this is prior to me actually getting the thing. I can't eat. I feel like I should be able to do something with the... I feel like I should be able to do something with, like, the laser and the... The laser and the, um... Thing. Uh, the, uh, mirror. But I don't know what. Okay, I think I have an idea of what I might want to do. Which is to say, redirect the laser to shoot the exploding barrel. Which feels like a very uh, point-and-click adventure sort of thing to do. I don't want to risk. Fi no? Eh. Well, I close it. I don't do. I don't want to risk. Dang, that was sort of the, my last idea of what I had to of, of what I thought I could possibly be doing here. I don't know then. Okay, laser is powered. What about the steel box? Never tried that. Oh, there you go. Should have saw it go. In the box. I hope it hasn't damaged the contents, whatever they are. Talked about just like shooting the unsealed box. Here we go. The laser cut. The okay, yeah, but he talked about like shooting the fridge with that. The evil fridge, which has been the biggest, the biggest uh, uh, d d d d d villain of this game so far. Oh, poggers. Oh hey, it's a it's an event horizon reference, everybody. That's disgusting. What kind of sick bastard steals eyes into a box? People who are way I mean, I guess it's probably that guy I saw on the screen, but people who are way into her event horizon. Well good, I guess. I mean There's nowhere to fit the eyes. Okay, well, yeah, it's like the the one guy that I know that ain't got no eyes. It's like it is not really. Hmm. Well, that's something. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing with my can of Dr. Salt. Uh, hmm. Uh, 
Oh, hey, wait a second. I can look at this panel here. It's some kind of compartment. It's warning this there might be dangerous. We go. I'm not sure messing with this is a good idea. Ah, whatever. Since when is... Safety override, I guess it says, I think. All right, override that safety. Okay. Cool. Ah, we didn't need that anyway. Okay, so... I mean, aside from showing me a bunch of wacky stuff, I don't, it doesn't really seem to be doing much of anything. So, what do I do now? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, really. That's that's what I need to do. It's just like, I can't get the door. I, I can't go in there if I don't have the door open. It's like, oh, get yeah, right, y'all. You need to use the door. Okay. Fine. <laughs> that's what I was missing the entire time here. I mean... Oh, it's a good thing that I'm editing this down pretty, pretty heavily, I would say. Fresh hanging meat. It looks vaguely edible. All right. So. That thing's probably heavier than I am. Raw meat isn't my thing anyway. Okay, well, this is the sort of place where I would want to use either the axe or scalpel. Maybe if I'm hungry later, I could use the scalpel to cut out a nice chunk. Right now, though, I really don't want any. So, what do I... Well, what's in the freezer, I suppose? What sort of looks hell? like the uh, container. Hey, what's going on? It looks like he's freezing. Maybe I could warm him up. How? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is beyond words. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, back in the, uh, the wacky town. I guess, um... So much for uh well, hey, what's going on with this hanging body? It looks like a body is trapped under that sheet. So much for finding I hope somebody for else. For his here. sake, he's already dead. What is this made of? It doesn't feel like plastic. I don't know, meat. Feels like a, a no. I thought that was gonna finally be somebody to to drink the can of Doctor Salt. But dang, well. Even the axe won't tear it open. It doesn't make sense. Gross. What about this guy over here, though? No. Okay, well, out of the freezer then. Oh. I, uh, just, just now permanently wacky town? Well, maybe the scalpel. That also feels like something maybe, right? The scalpel won't even scratch it. I can't figure out what the sheet is made of. Uh, okay. Things that I do not have any use for yet. I can't use the... Not that, but, um... I can't use... No. I uh, hmm. Oh wait, I just noticed. Can grab his leg, <laughs> of course. There's a leg sticking out from under whatever the hell that is. All right. If I want the leg. Yep, and I clearly want the leg since I guess I'm assembling a body. I don't know what whatever. whatever. <laughs> sure, why not? Great. Now I've got a severed leg. All right. Okay, so I guess the trap butt. I guess that was the point of doing this then. Oh, I still don't have anything to get rid of that fridge, though, is the problem. <laughs> okay, I just ended up looking at, uh, I just ended up looking at, like, what the solution for this is. And there is a tiny switch right here. There you go. That's what it is. Uh, that thing, it's just like, does that look like these things in the background right here? Right? All that sort of stuff. There's a switch right here. Okay, there you go. Okay. Cause what like yeah, I had been that? spending. That's gross. I don't know where it leads, and I don't want to know. That is that is not what I expected the solution to be. But okay, <laughs> get back to this here. Yeah, I spent like a half hour just like trying to figure out what 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 do you do? It. Well, okay, so much for the uh, whole like. Eh. That fridge isn't going anywhere with that mangled body jammed in there. I wish I'd left it up there now. Okay, there we go. Now I got a, myself a torso. Cool. And now I also won't die by uh, walking into this room over. It's a over. full human torso. Even I'm surprised I can carry this. 
Okay, well. Now what then? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, I can just go start setting down all of this stuff here. Oh, that also even has a leg on it. So I got pretty much everything except for uh, whatever the eyes are supposed to go into, which is, I presume, that head that I saw earlier. If I couldn't, I don't know, get the robot to give that to me, that'd probably be useful, but uh. Uh, is... Hmm. Well, can I throw the blanket on it now? It's not... No, still not. There's nowhere to fit... Okay, well, now I need to go figure out where the head is. But aside from that, it seems like I've mostly wrapped up uh, at least everything I can do right now. And just go find where that head is, then. But then again, something else might have changed now that I have, uh, now that I found that very tiny button on the floor. Which, like, ah. This should control the table. Okay, well, so. Oh, yeah, and there you go. Oh, and there's where you get the video screen and everything. To, oh, wow, that is, yeah, I did not expect that. Okay, well, throw it in, then. This is replacement lab technician Arthur Anderson making my first scheduled report. I've been here a week, and things haven't been as I expected. They keep me working in the upper lab doing the heat and sample analysis. It's a waste of my time, but they don't want me to go into the main lab chamber. I told Commander Artemis Trent that I hadn't traveled all this way to do monkey work, but he wasn't interested. The work wouldn't be so bad were it not for the tension on board. Everyone is keeping to themselves. No one wants to fight the tension. They're quick to dismiss any talk about what happened to my predecessor, or what it is they're working on down there. One thing I'm sure of is that they really don't want me. Although Professor Erickson is remotely hospitable towards me. But even she's evasive. At least she's kind to me, though. Something is definitely going on here. They're scared of something. I've heard them calling the main lab White Chamber. I don't know why, since I'm not allowed in there. Goodwin and Wiles hate going anywhere near it. I've seen Goodwin go in a couple of times when they've needed him, but always briefly and reluctantly. I'll keep investigating, but I don't want to push them too hard. The atmosphere around here is tense enough as it is. Okay, and the other one that I got here then. Uh, green one, here we go. Wilds is missing. Professor Erickson woke me up yesterday morning for a meeting in the living room to discuss what had happened. Dr. Goodwin said he was working late into the night and went looking for Wilds when he realized his medical laser wasn't working. This place is small, so it wasn't long before he realized he wasn't anywhere to be found. He said he woke the commander, and the pair spent the night searching the station to the bay. Even the life pod is still docked. With no answers to this mystery, Everyone is reaching breaking point. Even I'm starting to feel just as paranoid and tense as the rest of them. I think at this point it's become just a question of who will snap under the pressure first. I strongly urge you to send a new team here. If these guys don't get away from this place, I fear things are only going to get worse. No one trusts anyone anymore. They're particularly suspicious of me, as I'm the new arrival. Even Sarah, I mean, Professor Erickson, is growing more wary of talking to me. She's been spending more and more of her time down in the White Chamber. I know it's not scientific, but when I look in her eyes, she seems lost somehow. I had a drink with Dr. Goodwin. It's the first time he's really talked to me properly since I arrived. Though... What he said made little sense. He's convinced Wiles was taken by the artifact they're studying down there. Apparently, Wiles wanted them to get rid of it. Since my last report, I've overheard mention of the artifact several times. But their opinions on it seem mixed and conflicting. This all worries me. Again, I urge you, please send a relief crew as soon as possible. 
All right, and then anything else that I can end up doing with this? It's a console for... It won't do anything without a video disc. Well, hey, at least I got a way to actually use that now. Seems to fit perfectly on there. Ah, okay. You know, I thought so. I thought it was going to be something like that when... Because it's just that that stupid refrigerator was in the way, right? Okay, so now I can kind of redirect the beam, right? And that's both that. Got it. Okay. See, the funny thing is I was able to figure out that sort of absurd logic, but I couldn't find the switch, right? Ah, uh, of course. So is this the white chamber, or was that the one that I woke up in? I assume it's the one I woke up in. Ah, the grinder. Some Neat. Uh, got anything to be uh, grinding up? It's covered in filth. What is this stuff? Uh, blood, body parts of some variety, you know. There's the vent. Uh, do I have anything else that I would want to use in here? Uh, I can't use. No. <laughs> now I'll just go to the vent here. Or is it? I can't get the panel off? Well. Okay. Well. No. Uh, well. No. But what if... Uh, can't get the thing off. All right, so it's probably going to be something to do with the grinder then. But what do I do with the grinder? Wait, well, more, eh? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Knew there was something in here that I missed, this given that it's like I could not, could not uh, figure out anything else to do in this room. Oh, neat. All these really tiny buttons in this game, I tell you. Now that I knew to look for, oh, is it the severed head that I was looking for? Nice. Oh, that's fine. I can fix that. Well, severed head? Is this thing still alive? What the hell am I even thinking? I don't know. I feel like we've gotten a pretty good idea of kind of what's going on right now. It's not yeah, it's like I saw that. I saw that over and over, but couldn't really figure out anything to do with it. Given that the grinder room seemingly wasn't doing much of anything. Okay, I th I think I I think I figured out something. Ugh. I think I have a number of. I can't use these things. You super can. <laughs> there, it's complete. Nothing's happening. I guess I don't know what I expected. What is this place doing to me? Why did I bring all these body parts here? Cause it let me do that, of course. Here, also have a, a blanket. There, I guess that seems more respectful. Hooray! So it'll only respond. Well, let's also see if maybe there's. The bed's kind of. Up. He seems less disturbing with the blanket over him. Maybe I should leave him in peace. Now, if I leave. Honestly, I was sort of expecting, like I don't know, the. Uh... Ah, and there you go. He's gone. Is this open up now? Yes. Oh, thank God. It'll only respond to the voice of an authorized doctor. I'll never get this working. I can't get inside the chain. Those body parts. Yes, How okay, did they there get we in go. There? I knew it was going to be something like that. I thought he was just going to do a big scream. Oh, hey. I'm trapped. Eh, whatever. Look, as far as I'm concerned, we were able to get in here. That's the important bit, right? I think it's broken. I can't get it to open. <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure out something to do with that. There's something etched in the dirt. Uh, do you want to leave? Yes, no. Yes. And risk spreading the disease? No, but I do want to leave. Accept the consequences? Yeah, sure. It All right. Respond to the... Cool, I did it. I accepted the consequences, I guess. I don't know. 
I mean, I'm guessing that's probably the important, the, the, the backstory, you know, that we're going, going for here. Yep. We already see that trail of blood. And I guess the, um, gross body that... By the way, that wall was talking to me. There it is. That's a cool artifact. Uh, okay. I was wondering where this the character was for a performing a deep structural analysis. It doesn't seem to be producing any solid results. I believe that. <laughs> Given that we are working with, with, with space magic. <laughs> this machine seems to be monitoring any output from the artifact. There seem to be some very strange radiation readings coming from the artifact. I can believe that. Uh, okay, well. His face. Poor guy. What the hell happened to him? Hello, Sarah. So, here we are again. The situations are now reversed, it seems. As I recall, last time it was me trapped in there, hoping for mercy. I cared for you. I fell for your false smiles. And for that, the mess on the floor there is what I've become. You're beginning to understand now, Sarah, what you did to me, what you did to all of us, the price we paid for your obsession with its power. At least I can say that I did what you failed to. The artifact responded to me, my blood, my hatred. And my desire for retribution activated it. I unleashed the power you killed for. And now we're both trapped here in this cursed cycle. An eternal nightmare continuing endlessly until you earn salvation. I stand as your judge. And I have looked into your soul. You were given another chance to perhaps redeem your actions. Given this clean slate, did you demonstrate compassion and regret? Or once again, have you just shown a selfish drive towards your goal? While we reach a verdict, you shall remember. Remember what you did to me. full circle back to where this starts and ends we have made our decision all that is left is for you to leave now the life pod in the storeroom has been unsealed and inside you will find our decree on your way you shall remember it all what you did to deserve this goodbye Sarah I hope we never have to meet again. Yeah, I kind of forgot to... I just realized that I kind of forgot to look at the uh, third disc here. Probably would have explained a little bit of this. Although, I think you can get a good idea of what exactly is going on here. My comparison to Dead Space before, I feel like it's pretty... Yep pretty apt, despite the fact this came out before that. <laughs> I threw Dr. Goodwin into the fan. I didn't even need to do it, but I felt sure he was on to me. He kept asking the commander to eject the artifact. After what I did to Goodwin, I'd be a fool to get any closer. Gasp. Oh yeah, and hey, we're back into, uh, everything's less funky now, sort of. I mean, they still like the torture table there, but I guess that was something that was just there before. I can get a good look at everything before, you know.
uh, take a look at it rather than trying to in interact. Commander Trend gave me little choice. It was just me, him, and Arthur left at that point. He didn't trust the spy, but he didn't believe he was the killer. I think he saw it in my eyes, so I took his. <laughs> okay. I don't want to look inside. Yeah, and this was the big twist. Well, well, there was two different things specifically that I already know about this game, even coming into it. Then I know that there's alternate endings due to a, like, karma system. Which I think was that blackboard that I saw earlier. Well, anyway, I think I got a pretty good idea of what I need to do for that. First, he was my research assistant. He thought the artifact was too dangerous for us to work on alone. We were arguing because he wanted a support team. I told him we could handle it. I didn't mean to. I knew they'd never understand. I couldn't face seeing his remains if they're still in there. obvious he'd found Dick's body in the nav console by how he was acting. Dick had been in an accident, so I guess this is when things went out of control. I was so trapped. All I could think about was the damn artifact. It's too late now. I don't want to see what's under there. Everything else looks mostly the same. It's just mostly like a different uh, color palette in here, it seems. <laughs> So I take it that the uh, wacky um, but the coffin they woke up in was like the escape chamber or whatever. <laughs> oh, no, there it is. And I guess that was a... I'm not even going to get to see what's in the... the pl yeah, whatever, let's go. Alright, alright, I'll go and I'll get the, the good ending here, jeez. I also never looked at the, the, uh, never looked at the, uh, yeah, last log anyway, so, you know. There is that. Comedy ending? <laughs> because it's also a comedy ending.
chamber must be reinforced. Yeah, that did have an entire animation. And you know, that was like trying to do so. I, I'm betting that's probably, that's probably shit. Yeah, okay, there you go. Got another one. I knew it was something like that. I, I'm going off of memories from 2008 TV tropes for what I'm trying to do here, so... I don't know. And I guess there. throw a blanket guess on it, because that definitely seems uh, likely for giving me, you know, extra marks here. <laughs> so what are we looking at? Uh... Five, five, five marks? I don't... Does it, I sort of was thinking that they were going to... Ah, whatever, that's probably good enough. <laughs> I assume that's everything that I can do, pretty much, then, right? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to do this thing. It's warning this might be Because he doesn't really... Doesn't really, I don't know, like, um... I can't use these... Good. <laughs> doesn't really like, seem like something that would be good like a good thing to do but at the same time uh I, I it didn't seem to affect the story in any other way so i, I don't know <laughs> maybe it's still important for the ending anyway now ah, whatever let's just get going should be wait before doing that i almost forgot that it's like i did actually want to did actually want to uh watch that last tape yeah here we go I missed that last time. I finished this game in like 15 minutes if you know you do. I'm making this recording just in case someone finds it. Not that it'll do any good. I hope someone watches this. I want people to know what happened here. I found out the commander intercepted my last two reports. I confronted him about it, but he's convinced I'm an agent working for Cyclovir Hypercorp. I argued with him, but he thinks he's being generous enough by not just spacing me the moment he found out I was sending reports back. I tried to explain that the company had just asked me to submit observations, but he wasn't having any of it. I suppose I can't really blame him. But none of that matters now. I'll be lucky if I'm alive much longer. The good one is dead. Sarah found him chewed up on the main ventilation system. Everyone knows it wasn't an accident. We're being killed out here. Inevitably, they turned on me. Trent thinks it all started when I came on board. They've locked me here in the quarantine chamber. I think they're sealing off the vent room. I'm not sure what they think that will achieve. I don't know what's going on here. I'm scared and alone. I don't know if one of them is a murderer or if that damned artifact is responsible for all of this. Either way, I no longer care. I just want to get off this cursed station. I found a way to open the quarantine scene, and I'll be heading for the life pod. I don't know if I'll make it. So I'm leaving this final recording as a record of what happened here. To whoever finds this, good luck. Okay, that I can't explains everything else. <laughs> okay, let's see if I did a little bit better this time. <laughs> probably. I want to say probably. I was one mark away from getting full artifact there, it seems. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. I, they, there you go, I, I guess. 